hi everyone welcome to my channel i'm timmy if it's your first time here welcome to this channel feel free to subscribe it's absolutely free and if it's not your first time here how are you doing hope you're catching up with me other videos i uploaded especially my relocation vlog <laughs> okay so many of you know that i have relocated to the united kingdom and you are wondering many of you have been asking me oh how did you go how did you get to the united kingdom you know i just ran and i found myself here <laughs> kidding i relocated through the um, student or student route routes you know <laughs> tomato tomato that is how i got here so today i'm going to be doing the cost of moving here I mean, if you want to move to any country, it's just the best thing for you to do it legally. Don't go as a visitor and then you don't go back. So, I have a book here. I've written out the cost of moving from the beginning, beginning, how much you need. And this doesn't have to do with the money that has to be in your account. I'm talking about the money you need right now, right now to move to the UK as a student. So the first thing you need to do is get a school where you are going to be schooling, either for your master's or your PhD or even your undergraduate studies. So I am doing my master's here and you need to get a school that is, you need to get a school that is um, relatively um, cheap, not cheap, cheap, but you know, kind of affordable. Let me put it that way because nothing is cheap actually. So you need to get a school that is affordable for you and then check for the kind of study you want to or kind of course you want to study rather so after you've done that which is like the first and most important thing find out how much their school fees is and if you are eligible for scholarship so my own school my school fees is sixteen thousand pounds and I got a scholarship of four thousand pounds of my school fees, so I'm paying twelve thousand pounds. But most schools do not collect the cash at once. Some schools allow you pay instrumentally. Some schools allow you pay in bits or per course. So I was made to pay one fourth. That's three thousand pounds initially. So divided into for one fourth, I had to pay three thousand pounds initially for me to get a certificate of acceptance of students so once you pay your three thousand pounds you fulfill all the conditions that is meant to be fulfilled you get your cast it's called certificate Abby? confirmation of acceptance of students rather so that's what you get after you do that the other things i'm mentioning please make sure you have a passport before you start okay <sighs> depending on the type of passport you want to get it could be from 50k to 100k don't ask me how I did that calculation, but you know how, depending on the type of passport, but by the books, passport should be like 25k or 30k, 30,000 naira. So get your passport before you even start anything at all. So the tuition that, so the tuition paid is 3,000 pounds. Um, because you are allowed to use bank rates in Nigeria, bank well, um, the CBN allows us to use bank rates instead of using black market to pay for school fees and um, traveling allowance so you can use the bank rate through form A it's called the trade system something something just go to the bank and ask you'll be allowed to use 700 sorry 500 and I think 40 something or 60 something rather than 700 and you know 50 780 naira Per pound so you'll be saving a lot of money using the form a so it's better you use the form a to pay for your school fees and then i forgot to mention that the conversion the conversion <laughs> the conversion of pounds in naira will be 1.1.7 million naira 60,000 thereabouts is about 1.8 million naira so that's how much you'll be paying after paying after paying your school fees, the next thing you need to do is your tuberculosis test. You need to go to a designated, you cannot just go to any type of hospital to go and do your tuberculosis test. You need to go to, is, there is only one in Abuja and one in um, in Lagos, Lagos GRE. So you need to go to the hospital to do the test i don't know if it's a hospital or just a test center so that's where you get the test done it's it's um 50 
57,800 naira but just round it up to 60k because you are going to transport yourself all the way there so 60,000 is what you spend doing your tuberculosis test then the next thing you need to do when you have gotten your confirmation of acceptance and you fulfill the conditions depending on what your conditions may be people have different conditions you then pay for your IHS that's your health insurance and your visa so everything all together for me because I, I paid using black market money I did not have foreign currency or foreign exchange at that time I paid using a um, black market rates I paid about 800 and 870 thousand naira and it was I got I had I had somebody who could do it for me at a cheaper rate, but she had reached the limit of her um, bank card, so I had to just buy black market because the earlier the better. So that was eight hundred and seventy thousand naira. So the next thing you need to do is your flight. Obviously, when you get your visa, you can buy your your flight tickets before your visa even comes out. So depending on how early you buy your your flight tickets the cheaper it is remember if you want to do the pta that's personal traveling allowance where you can change money using the bank rate instead of traveling with black market money you have to buy a two-way ticket that's the only way you can get pta done so you have to in order to get your pta or in order to get pta you have to you have to buy a two-way ticket so i i got a two-way ticket so i was eligible for pta i had to i was able to change all my naira using the bank rate so i got a um a pound for 540 something naira instead of you know 750 760 um, naira per pound then you buy your flight ticket from 250,000 to 400,000 or even <laughs> or even 900,000 BA as at the time I was buying my own ticket was selling one way about 900k or two way I can't even remember if it was one way or two way they were selling their ticket for 900,000 plus so that's why it's the earlier the better you need to buy your ticket very early so that's about you know 250 to 400 or even 500,000. The next thing you need to do is get ready for your accommodation once you are buying your ticket because you don't want to come here and then you are stranded. You have to start looking for a hotel with your bag and baggages, it's very stressful. I would not advise anybody to go through that except if you want to do that, just make sure you book a hotel, a very cheap hotel. There are cheap hotels where I stayed at cheap hotels in Manchester you can check Google is your friend I mean Google everything out then you need to book a hotel probably two nights and you need to intensively search for houses those two days so you need to get your accommodation ready it depends on where you are I cannot give a designated you know amount you spend on housing per month but for me in my access manchester area and where i am student accommodation is from 300 pounds per month to 700 pounds student accommodation not house student accommodation and i'm currently in a student accommodation so that's how much it is so the the more the amenities the the more expensive the more expensive it will be there are houses that are without bath and toilets you know they'll be cheaper there are houses with bath there are houses with kitchen the more expensive they'll be and that should be everything and the next thing you want to know is that pta the um the most you can get per person the most you can get is um, four thousand dollars per person and if it's in pounds it's two thousand nine hundred pounds per person so if you are traveling as a family each person who has a return ticket you can just buy a return ticket for probably you and your partner maybe your children who have one way so you and your partner can get the pta i hope that is clear that's pretty much the cost of moving here as a student remember i said it doesn't have to do with any other money that you know has maybe your cost of living or cost of 
or the balance of your school fees in your account i didn't mention that i meant the immediate cost you need to move to uk i did not mention the whole money that you need to move i hope that's clear because i don't want anybody to mix anything up and think that oh you know if i can find you know two million now i'll move to uk i didn't say that the cost of moving currently you are going to pay your rent monthly some people collect rent uh, quarterly some people collect six months rent some people collect one year rent depending on your landlord so it's always different for different people so the total amount of money that could be spent moving depending on your school depending on the area or province why am i saying province <laughs> depending on the area you are moving to could be about could be about 3.5 million to 5 million or even 6 million naira you can do the conversion in dollars or in pounds but in naira is 3.5 million to let's say 6 million naira so if you have that now you can start your process and it's always good for you to start very very early i'm going to um do or film other videos explaining how i began my process how it went and i have clips and videos of everything that i went through my tuberculosis test my vaccination my um when i went to the embassy and all that so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you do subscribe to this channel because you do not want to miss all that juicy information thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope to see you in the next one bye